hey everyone creative Inas here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and today we will learn how to design this beautiful presentation slide using Microsoft PowerPoint and this is a list design which you can use for your presentations so let's start the tutorial so you can follow us on our social platforms and you can subscribe to our channel so the very first step is to insert this rectangular shape here and apply a nice shadow effect and you can use these shadow sliders on the right once the shadow is applied the next step is to change its color back to white now you can duplicate this rectangle and remove its shadow effect increase its height and width and align it perfectly over the smaller rectangle now group these both rectangles you can group by using keyboard shortcut control plus G now rotate this shape here the grouped shape and place it like this so it is very easy to create and of course while designing PowerPoint presentations you need lots of patience because the more time you will spend on finishing the smaller elements the better it will get and it is always recommended to focus on the alignment part and how you place the items now we have duplicated this group and place the second group shape next to it now comes the third part we need to create the list infographic here for that we need to insert a new shape and we will create multiple list shapes here for each point so you can customize it accordingly based on the number of pointers you have for example if your list contains six bullet points then you can create create six such shapes if you have five then you can keep it up to five so it will always look good for like four to seven list items beyond that it will look kind of cluttered or too big so it is recommended for only four to seven elements so now we have placed five items here we have again duplicated the white rectangle and place it here and we have colored it so that we can select it easily because white will not be visible now duplicate it again duplicate it basically we need five such shapes because we have to subtract these rectangles Now place these five rectangles like this, increase their width so that we can subtract these five list shapes here. Now select one by one and subtract by using the merge shapes option here. Select the rectangle and select the bigger rectangle here and subtract. Now you'll get shapes like these 
as you can see on our screen. So our infographic design is almost done. Now we need to cover this part. Now we will duplicate it and place it slightly below the previous group here and send to back. Now select this grouped item and send to back and you will get a shape like this. Now we need to select the shape and duplicate it and we have to place it here change its color so that we can easily select it and duplicate it five times we have duplicated it because we want to subtract it from the list rectangles here so align to the center and align to middle once all these rectangles are aligned we have to place them here and we have to subtract each rectangle now increase their height and width and place them over the rectangular shapes that you want to subtract now select one by one and press subtract you have to repeat the steps five times and in the end you will get shape like this now we have created a color palette here and we will fill these awesome colors so here you can try different color schemes based on your brand template or logo color here we are going with the gradient fill because we love gradients and gradients are nice and I generally prefer them because I love gradients so I use them a lot I find them more relevant for different artistic expressions. I find solid colors more boring, more corporate, and everyone is using them. So that's why I try to be different. I go with the gradient colors most of the time. And with the help of gradient colors, you can get different kinds of you know light effects for example you can see here you can see some shadow effects here these blacks are looking really nice so i haven't applied any shadow effect here it is just because of the gradient color the shadows are coming out nicely now you can place icons here so i am using the default icons but nowadays thin line icons are very popular you can find them online and those are in demand and being used widely so i would prefer go with them the thin line icon you will search on internet and find lots of them So now let's change the color of the icons matching their respective list rectangle now it's a time to write some text here so here it depends upon the information you have so i'm writing dummy text here each information is different some will use it for 
statistical data some for just plain descriptions some will use some numbers stats description so it depends upon the content you have you can adjust it accordingly so i'm just using some dummy text here so i'll fast forward this thing once one row is done because these are repetitive steps and you know how to do this it's very basic and it's easy make sure everything is well aligned but use this option of alignment a lot try to use it for vertical and horizontal alignments this will improve your placement and it will also help in developing a sense of placing the items how do you want to place items on a blank slide also keep the text very minimum use less text only provide the relevant information do not go towards explaining things just write business statements and try to explain everything in less number of words because nowadays no one has time to read a lot of information use keywords use expressions use images so if you can see here it's not a difficult slide to create it's very easy you just have to use shapes to create something extraordinary it looks difficult but it's easy now we have placed a rectangle here as well let's play with it experiment few colors here i'm designing it in real time i i haven't practiced it yet or it's not something that i have already created it and i'm repeating it i'm just creating it in the real time So what I am doing is I am just placing the diff different shapes here and it's all about experimenting with different things until you get the satisfied results. So now it's coming out nicely and here you can write the text and on the left corner towards top you can add your logo. Also try to focus on the text styling as well. Text styling is also very important when it comes to designing a presentation. So this time we have kept the title towards the right. Also let's use subheading and we will reduce its font size. So you can see it's coming out pretty nicely. So if you have liked our design, you can subscribe to our channel. You can join the membership, which is very important for us. Because if you will join the membership, we will get some support, some motivation, and we will bring out more such beautiful videos. Also hit the like button. The more you will like, the more 
visibility my videos will get so it's all about how you engage with our videos so please keep sharing your love and support and you can download the free template from the G Drive link provided in the video description so thank you guys thanks for watching this video to the end and we will meet you guys in our next video which is also almost ready and i'll publish it in a couple of days so thank you